feel. He reminds me a little Bobby Hurley used to throw those 40, 50 foot passes. Brandon Roy, a little scoop shot. Mike Jensen. Now, this is a tough match, I think, for Anderson. Nice look by Roy. Beautiful. That, that's yes. A, does that make him special? Yes. I mean, he's got great vision, can play with his back to the hoop. Austria. Yeah, he should have fan dribbled. Should have fan dribbled. Jensen to Appleby, left side. Bobby Jones. Oh, my goodness. You know, he made a ball fake with it. Jensen for three. Not there. Roy with a rebound. And that's why he's so special. Look at this. Oh, what a pass. Oh, this and kid. the basket. And he enjoys that as much as a dunk or a jump shot. A uh, little block here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we've got one official overruling the other. Two-point UConn lead. Ball on the floor. It's loose. Picked up by Jamal Williams. Oh, terrific touch. Too much dribbling out here with Denham Brown. That's not his game. Here's Brown. And a charge, too. Wow. A little out of sorts. Two tough plays. And boy. Out to Jensen. Back to Roy. Look at that. Oh, my. Huh? Goodness. Well, you know, they've done a great job. He likes to dribble on a platter. You just have to knock it down. And one. Boy, the blow by with the left hand. Got shipping and container in the box in Seattle as a janitor. How about that for yes. wanting something? Nice and there's steal. a steal. Brandon Roy punctuates this. Well, whatever you want, the quick timeout now by Jim Calhoun. And right now, they are a shadow of themselves. It's terrific defense. First to trap on the other end, and now the sleight of hand. Send it in from the Northwest. Look over the top. There's the trap, Bobby Jones. Armstrong, whoa, might have dragged the foot. 10 seconds. Look at it. It's 10 before the foul, and they don't get the call. Here's Brandon Roy, guarded by Denim Brown. Off the dribble, darts in, oh. switches hands. He's, he's too tough. Too tough for Denham Brown, who's... And he's got Dentman, and there's a dish to Jamal Williams back outside, and they'll go with the half-court offense. Roy, quick off the dribble. Nice pass. <laughs> Dentman, how about that? Beautiful penetration. Gets by Williams, who didn't do a good job defensively. 43, 40, 53, 45. Looking for Gay with the pin down. They get a hold. And now Roy and he are chatting. Uh, technical the technical foul on both of them. Both of them. Double technical. Rudy Gay and Brandon Roy. So now Roy has three fouls. Double technical. They both have three now, Vern. Yes. And Lorenzo Romar calls his squad. Uh, he's been out of the game for one minute now. Here's Jamal Williams. Beautiful spin move. Yes. Oh, that was pretty. And a nice call from the bench, too. A little. And Williams doesn't pay attention all the time. On the defensive end, how about that post entry, huh? And Brandon Roy, here's Bobby Jones with the spin. Up, under, out. Put back, good. How about the hustle by him? Because you. Final. Brockman. With the dribble now. He's terrific with his drop step. Rudy Gay reaches. He goes to the baseline. Loose ball picked up by Williams. Oh, what an alert play. Absolutely right. Bobby Jones for three, no. Rebound, Marcus Williams. Oh, Gay no. at the other end. Brandon Roy got back and got the steal. That is the 24th turnover for UConn. Oh. A season high. And Brandon Roy can find it. Jamal Williams. Oh, my goodness. Is that oh. big? A little dagger. Beats you inside and come on out. Hundreds of shots at home. Marcus Williams, a foul call. Seventy-eight, seventy-two. Bobby Jones has just become the first Husky to foul out. I say just the first because six players at four. He's now got five. Here's Denham Brown. No pressure, really, as uh, Dentman backs up. Fifteen. Here's Marcus Williams. Go to the rim. All the way. There's Jensen. And a foul. So they get the three anyhow with Jensen. Smart, heady play. Brown brought it up, and between he and Anderson, looked like they were both looking for three against West Virginia the other night. It's, it's a three-point game. Here's the inbound pass. Marcus Williams has it. Five in the game. Rashad Anderson with Appleby. Oh, goodness! What a 
minutes eight, eight. left. Appleby for the win. No! Overtime! There. Right there, he played the baseline. You gotta force the guy to dribble on the other side of the arc. Let him back against Albany against Kentucky. UConn now has its first lead since it was 63. 62! And the freshman John Brockman and with the up and under. Roy gets a screen from Jamal Williams. Armstrong comes to help. The tip is good. How about that? Chapman on Marcus Williams. Oh, what a tough call. That is a tough call. The bump. Marcus Williams is down. I hope it's just fatigue, Vern. Watch the legs get caught up there. See that? And that, it, you know, the official has to call it. Becomes the third Washington Husky to foul out of the ball game. And Mark body, despite the four. Brandon Roy. Oh, that should be good. Should be good. That should be good. Is it on the way down? Yup. Turn the corner. What a tough break for Washington and Lorenzo Romar. One minute to go in overtime. Jamal Williams backs in on Boone. Tough shot, huh? He's got that size and hooky jump. Washington to use clock and be sound. Don't foul. And look at this kid push the ball. What a nice dish. Back to Appleby for three. Yes! Is that great coaching? Unbelievable. Roy to the corner. Nice steal by Appleby. He's got it. Comes back outside. 14 seconds to go. Stolen by Williams. Foul. Roll to the rim. Absolutely. Unless he was afraid of it being blocked, Vern. And Marcus Williams continues. Appleby, 10 seconds to go. Back to Burmeister. Way, way outside. Off the mark. And that's it. They give it away with one on the clock. 23 free throws by the Washington Huskies. UConn advances in overtime. It was Rashad Anderson's three with one point at eight to go that sent this game into overtime.